Well, welcome back again, everyone. Today's review is from a brand new uh, cigar company. They are new to the United States. They were just granted their license recently to uh, export to the United States. This is uh, by Tobacco's Mundial. And this is the Toro. Uh, their cigars are all unbanded, as you can see, as, as you can see from this one. Uh, they have several sizes, but uh, they save money for you and me by disregarding the bands. Well, I don't, I don't smoke the bands anyway, so it doesn't matter to me. Um, let's see here. 2012, June of 2012, they were granted their U.S. import license. Um, it's a small family operated factory out of Estili, Nicaragua and run by the Guion brothers. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. G-U-I-L-L-E-N, uh, uh, Guion, Guion brothers. And um, they, let's see, they have uh, one, two, three, six different sizes uh, cigars they sell are actually five different sizes uh, Robusto, Toro, Torpedo, 6x52, Churchill 7x48 and the Parejo the 6x60. This is the Toro uh, 6x50. These cigars utilize a Habano Rose uh, wrapper and uh, everything else is Nicaraguan. So there we have it, the cigar again. Very nice, yeah, average medium brown. Uh, I sampled a few of their cigars previously and uh, found that this size, the Toro, was the uh, most flavorful and uh, to me were, was the best. Now, that's not saying that any of them couldn't be good, but we're going to review the Toro today because I've had a little, a little experience with it. Um, so what we need to do now is to get right to it and uh, sample it out. Well, um, there's the density. Since it's a new company, you can see how they uh, pack their cigars. Um, I was looking to see it is not triple capped, but that's nonetheless, that's okay. All right, so let's get right to it. Okay, the descriptions and what have you are over. Now we want to see, what does it taste like? Good draw. The thing that got me interested in these cigars initially was the fact that they are, quite honestly, they're Nicaraguan. If you know me, you know I like Nicaraguan tobacco, so I wanted to sample them. The first flavor I got was a little sweet vanilla. So right away, right the first thing I, I tasted. A lot of pepper, white pepper. and a little light orange citrus. 
So you've got, uh, uh, well, vanilla, and it's straight vanilla, it's not anything playing around. Vanilla, light orange citrus, a little moderate sweetness to it, and a lot of white pepper. So that's how we're starting. Of course, I'm gonna let it sit for a minute. Starting out pretty good burn, pretty even. So let's let it sit for just a minute and come back to it. Um, again, the wrapper is, uh, is called a Habano Rose. And this is from the Gion Brothers. So let's see what happens with it. Well, I'm close to an inch in, and uh, the flavors are just as I described previously. You could add uh, earthiness in there too. It's at the tail end of the spice of vanilla and uh, light orange, uh, but there's an earthiness there. You could almost describe it as a coffee flavor, but uh, I think earthiness is a better description. Now, one thing about their cigars, they are very affordable to give you uh, an example, all of them are $65 for bundles of 20. Uh, I believe, if I'm reading it correctly on their website, that the $65 also include, includes the shipping. Uh, if I'm incorrect, there is a note about there's a um, $5 uh, flat rate charge, but, uh, it says, uh, but it says it's included. Uh, and they ship on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, and since they have to come through customs, it may take uh, a tad longer than usual. I have ordered cigars from Costa Rica and it'll take about a week or 10 days. Uh, it's fine, They're, that's fine, but just don't expect them overnight. Now, uh, back to the cigar. The finish is one pretty much of vanilla. Um, it's not a very long finish. Uh, it is, it's a mediocre. It's not short. I would say it's a medium finish if there is a such thing. There's a little tanginess to the flavor too. So there we are at about an inch. And I'll be back here shortly with another update. Well, I'm at or just beyond the midpoint. And uh, there is just a touch of richness showing up in those uh, citrus notes. Not a lot and not quite where I would like to see it, but it is a touch of richness and that is a good thing. Uh, those earthy notes, sort of floundering earthiness, wood, a little bit of that's there still hanging around. The vanilla notes are there just to sort of add to or tone down the orange citrus. Those are still the prominent uh, flavor the uh, finish of vanilla is still there. Uh, there's a touch of lingering pepper also on the finish. The cigar is medium body, you know, straight up medium, not, uh, not anything showing any signs of going to medium to full, it's, it's straight out medium. And you know, it's pretty, it's pretty good. The, the, um, there's not really anything else to say. It's, uh, it's burning extremely evenly, as you can see. So that is not an issue. So uh, at the rate we're going, we may be back to wrap it up here shortly, but uh, there we are for now. All right, we're here at the end, so I'm gonna wrap it up. The um, cigar lost just a touch of that richness, but not enough to make any much difference. The flavors were pretty much consistent throughout the cigar. It didn't change really a lot, but uh, they were good. Uh, citrus notes, there's, there's sort of a, that 
second or, or, or background flavor of earthiness and wood. Uh, it, at times it has like a nutty flavor. Not really anything you can pin down as far as describing a flavor, but uh, those flavors are secondary to the uh, citrus and the uh, light vanilla. Um, the pepper remained good. Uh, the cigar burned very well. Uh, these cigars are also available uh, in samplers for $12. I think it's a three pack for $12. So definitely worth a shot to try, especially for the, the price point. And if you like Nicaraguan uh, uh, cigars, these have a lot of typical Nicaraguan flavor. This cigar to me has been very good. Uh, I, I've enjoyed it. And to sum it up, I'm giving it a score of 89. So, uh, um, you know, there you have it. The Toro size from Tobacco's Mundial uh, by the Guion Brothers gets a score of 89. Try them for yourself. Uh, inexpensive enough. I don't think you'd be disappointed.